grace and peace to you from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. You ever wonder to yourself, why is it these days that our religious faith life seems so much like a contact sport instead of a deep spiritual engagement? James Cars is a writer who published a book quite a few years ago, and I encountered it just recently in another book by Tim Alberta. And he offers this sort of mind game, this, this thought experiment. Uh, let me see what you think of it. He talks about the finite and infinite games. A finite game, well, like baseball, has set boundaries. Only the players can be involved and set rules to guide the game. And the whole game is predicated on there being a winner and a loser. And the object, of course, is to be the winner. An infinite game is different, though. It has much wider boundaries. Lots of people can be involved. And it's open-ended. Doesn't end after a set time or a set number of innings. It keeps going on and on. And the object of the exercise isn't to produce winners and losers, but that the people who are in the game can grow and develop and deepen. So an example of an infinite game would be education or our faith life. And he, he goes a little deeper than that and says, it's a difference between theatrical and dramatic. The participants in the theatrical, well, they're forced to be there. You're the actor, you're on the stage, go do it. But if you participate voluntarily, it's not theatrical, it's dramatic. You're there of your own free will, and you're part of a great drama of life rather than a stage play. You're starting to connect those dots. I think the problem with our faith life is that we have confused faith, which is an infinite game, with finite games. So in our faith life, there has to be winners and losers. We have to win at all costs, which is strange because scripture tells us that through the cross and resurrection of Christ Jesus, God has already won the game. Isn't that the point of the book of Revelation? As Mark Allen Powell says, the point of the book of Revelation is God wins. And sometimes in faith, we try to coerce other people to be part of it, to play by our rules. Well, that just makes them actors instead of participants in a great drama. And of course, then we're focused on an ending rather than participation and growth and a deepening of faith and of relationships. I'll let you think about that for a while. But in the meantime, I invite you to be part of this incredible drama in the infinite game of faith. May God be with you till we meet again.